Hello YouTube, it's PZZS in here. Uh, what you're looking at right here um, is actually uh, some bicycle poker chips. All right, I'm going to be doing a review on them. Obviously, you can probably tell by the title. Um, these are actually poker chips. I don't really see people mention. Whenever I hear people talk about bicycle poker chips, uh, they talk about these. Um, this is, and actually, uh, the poker chips aren't in here. I kind of messed up the plastic holder, so they're just kind of in places. Here's a a few of them right here and uh you know this is what they look like uh these are the only things that i see really people talk about um these things right here uh these are little plastic um poker chips that uh, bicycle puts out um they come in they have three colors in them they have the uh, the blue the red and they have white um and these are all people talk about and they complain, they say that these are not very good because A, they're plastic, and B, uh, they're very, very thin, and they're easy to break. I've never done this before, so here we go. Oh, wow, that is actually very easy to break. Uh, they're very, very fragile. Oh, wow, this one's hard to break. This piece is hard to break. Um, ow! All right, that hurt. <laughs> Scratch my thumb a little there. Uh, they, uh, you know, they can, very easy to break because they're uh, made of cheap plastic and stuff, so... Obviously, you do not want your poker chips breaking, you know. <laughs> um, if someone, you know, if you're using these in a game and, uh, I don't know, people might just break them for some reason because they're amused by it or something, I don't know. Uh, but the biggest thing here is that they are very razor thin, and it's actually, you know, it, it's just really thin. These are two of them put together here, as you can see, so. Um, but not, I have never really heard anybody mention... Uh, bicycles clay chips um, this is um, uh, another poker chip the bicycle puts out um, bicycle premium tournament poker chips with tray there's a micro one on this so as you can see here it says uh, bicycle premium tournament and all that stuff 100 chips 8 grams 2 colors clay filled um, if you're wondering where you can get these you can get them at uh, Rite Aid for ten dollars. Uh, this hundred pack, and you can also, if you look at uh, some grocery stores, I believe I've seen them in Food Lion and uh, Harris Teeter and some of that. Uh, Harris Teeter, look at Harris Teeter. Um, you can find fifty packs uh, for half this for half the price. Um, so that's it. And so then, anyway, there's the um, chip quantities for poker. Uh, you, all right, let's see here. Let's see if I can fit all this in here. You won't be able to put these casino quality chips down. Clay filled for true tournament feel, sound, and action. Two color design is included, uh, or excuse me, is molded into the chip uh, using the same technology as top quality casino chips. Buy one for each play of your, uh, in your next tournament. And because of how uh, affordable they are, um, you do have to be somewhat a rich person. <laughs> uh, but if you have like, you know, maybe uh, eight people playing in your tournament, $80 will buy you 800 of these chips, and you could give 100 of them to each of them, and that's actually not too bad. I mean, you can buy... Anyway, um, this here is uh, their different classes. Uh, the ones I just showed you earlier, these are the plastic ones I just showed you, you know? <laughs> the ones that are so easy to break. Um, and, um, you know, then you have the casino player, and then you have tournament player and pro player right there, which are a little heavier. As you can see, 8 gram, 2 color clay filled. Alright, so you can go ahead and read up on that thing there. On the bottom, it just shows you uh, basically everything again. Perfect for Texas Hold'em Poker. 8 gram clay, blah, blah. Um, so, and you can see right there, sort of a misleading picture. Actually, you can really see it right here. Misleading p picture, because it does not have a full row of black chips. It has half, has a half a row of black chips, and then the other half is uh, some more blue chips. Alright, so, um, let's go ahead and show them to you. Okay, so opens up like this. Uh, I'm not too fond of this box, actually. Actually, um, I'm not too fond of the box because it, it doesn't really have a, like, a really good solid latch mechanism so it can stay shut like a lot of, say, electronic boxes do. You know, boxes for, like, uh, electronics and stuff do so. They stay shut. Um, I don't know. Just something to uh, take note of there. Alright, so anyway, here are your chips. And as you can see, again, you don't have a whole row of black chips. You have half of them are black and the other half are blue. Um, so, this is uh, what the uh, chip look, the, this is, <laughs> this is what you get. Each of these little rows here will come uh, shrink wrapped and you just, uh, you know, open them up and then you got your chips. 
Um, so, you get 40 green chips, you get um, 35, or excuse me, um, yeah, you get 40 um, uh, green chips, you get 30 blue chips, you get 20 red chips, and you get 10 black chips, right there, alright, and uh, there's, the only difference between them is really uh, the color, so, I mean, there's not much difference to them, uh, as you can see. Um, so that's pretty nice. Uh, they do feel pretty nice and solid in the hands. They, you could probably break these, but uh, really, <laughs> I don't want to do it though because I do actually like these chips a lot. Um, <laughs> they are very nice, so I don't want to break them. Um, let's see. So that's that. <laughs> um, again, one one of the thing, you know, let me just show you one up close here, real quickly. My hand is trembling for some reason, and I have absolutely no idea why. There we go. Alright, so as you can see right there, it says uh, bicycle. Right there, it shows all the four different suits. Uh, suits. What do you want to call them? Suits? Suites? I don't know. Uh, they're suits, actually. Uh, they've got these nice little stripes on the sides, which, you know, I mean, again, if you have, like, you know, a stack of them, uh, really helps to tell how many chips the person has. So... I like that. Um, some of the actually more expensive chips I've seen. I've seen videos where people show off their more expensive chip collection have solid um, bars or they're just way too overdone. There's like several colors along the side and it's really hard to decipher what chip is which. I like these because it's literally, I mean you can tell this is obviously black and uh, it's only got those three stripes on it so it's actually easy to tell, uh, you know, whoops, what, you know, what kind of chip it is and how many they have. Uh, and it actually it uh, has the same pattern on both sides. All right, and that's that goes for all of them. So very very nice. Um, that's that's that. Uh, as you can see, that's how thick they are. So if I take two of these plastic guys, uh, I think two of these are equal to the thickness of one of these, and it's just a hair thicker, but. Honestly, I think that has to do with the interlocking mechanism. The only advantage you really have to these uh, plastic ones is how they can interlock. So if I, again, grab a, uh, a bunch of them here. No, this will do. Um, let's get that out. I can put them together like this. And they kind of interlock with each other. Uh, oops, that one didn't quite click in there. Um, so it's very, very... So they can stay in these nice little stacks. Uh, that's the really only good thing about them, so that way you know. Uh, yeah, but these actually don't do that. There's no sort of interlocking mechanism on there. You know, they kind of freely float around, but eh, it doesn't really matter there. I'd say they have enough friction on them to uh, stay, uh, you know, together, so you have nothing really to worry about. Um, there. Now, something else that um, uh, Bicycle advertised on their box was the sound. So I want to go ahead and let you guys hear that. So I'm just going to take... Uh, just a few of these red ones here, all right, and I'm just going to dribble them. Hear that? Let's take a few more and dribble them on top. Some black ones. So you can hear they have a nice sound to them. And I'm actually wondering, I again, I've never actually really seen anybody, uh, you know, cut one of these in half, but I'm wondering if that sound might have to do with maybe there's some metal inside of it. I did get a sample one of these with a uh, pack of bicycle cards, uh, a two pack of bicycle cards. Maybe one day I'll, uh, in a video I'll cut that in half so we can see what it looks like. Um, uh, I could do that after this video, but my Dremel, I, I should charge that up first. I don't, I haven't used my Dremel often, so I need to charge it. Uh, but anyway, that's what they sound like. They do have a nice uh, sound to them. You know, you can sort of uh, get a few of them and yeah, they, they do sound nice, so they have that, they do actually indeed have that sound, so that's awesome about that. Um, there's really not much to say about these chips, I mean, they're, the big thing with poker chips is that some people might only associate them with, uh, poker, because they're, you know, called poker chips, but if you get enough, uh, if you get a lot of them, and if you get them in a wide ar array of colors, um, you could play Monopoly with them, alright? You could replace that paper money that comes with Monopoly, you could replace that with poker chips, and that would work excellently. You can, I have seen at Walmart, they have some little, uh, dis uh, some little cases of multicolored poker chips. Uh, you can get those, but they're not, they're not these. I actually, I don't know if Bicycle makes these in every, uh, in other colors. I've only seen them in these four colors here. 
Um, but, you know, not well. So I've only seen these four colors, but maybe Bicycle does make other colors. Uh, I just haven't seen them yet. Maybe, maybe their tournament pack, which again is uh, right here, or their pro pack. <laughs> I swear, my hand is trembling so much. So my left hand, my right hand's fine. My left hand is just shaking for some reason. Um, maybe those have, uh, uh, I think seven colors is, uh, I think the most, uh, the standard, but these only have four, but, eh, they work fine for poker. Alrighty, so, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about how I, uh, actually set up the, uh, the, um, the value of the chips. They, uh, Bicycle did not actually officially give values to the chips, uh, so I came up with some myself, and this is what I did. Um... I, you get f a ton of these uh, green chips. You get 40 of them, all right? So I went ahead and assumed that these would be $1. So this chip here is worth a dollar, all right? And then you get um, 30 of these blue chips here. So I went ahead and made these $5. So this blue chip is $5 worth. And uh, the, the, uh, the red chips are $10. And then these... Uh, black chips are actually twenty dollars, and again, you could do really whatever you want to. Uh, it's up to your imagination. But um, I would like to see. I would like to get maybe eventually some uh, more colors. And uh, if you wanted to, you could maybe use go go to like uh, Walmart or something and get these uh, plastic ones. I believe I got this hundred pack for like a dollar. Um, you can like make this change, but again, you don't have a lot of colors, so you're still a little limited. Um, you get um, 25 of uh, of uh, each of these colors, and then you get 50 white ones. So I made the white one the white ones be like uh, a penny, and then the you know maybe the blue ones are like five cents. And these are like a quarter or something. So again, that's not exactly the entire. It's, it's not exactly a whole uh, currency, but um, you can do whatever you want to do. You could use real coins for. Uh, for um, change, as long as you just uh, make sure to give them back to people, or you could just set aside some coins for uh, mint, um, specifically for playing poker and such. So anyway, uh, that's that. Uh, but again, like I say, you don't have to use poker chips to play poker. Um, if you have enough colors, you can play Monopoly. You can play. Um, those are the only really two uh, money games that I know of. But anyway. Um, so actually, once uh, I tried uh, bringing these uh, and using them for uh, credits in an RPG, but it wasn't really exactly that, say, effective. Like, uh, it was just a little too confusing because uh, nobody else really was interested in uh, doing that. They were just, uh, they, they kept forgetting to hand me in the, uh, the, um, the chips when they, you know, when they spent money, they kept forgetting to, uh, you know, give me the physical chips. They just recorded them on their little character sheets, so... We eventually stopped doing that, and uh, I haven't done that since, but anyway. You know, again, it's up to your imagination what you want to do with them, so. Uh, but I would definitely recommend, if you uh, do not have uh, any poker chips currently, uh, to get these bicycle ones. They're, again, only $10 for a 100-pack and $5 for a 50-pack. Uh, I actually do want to eventually get another 10-pack and um, have, you know, even more uh, these poker chips, so that way I could, you know... We could have uh, much bigger poker games or any of any game really, so that'd be nice. Um, and I could maybe, I don't know. I I do also, you know. Again, they I've only seen them come in these four colors. So if four colors isn't enough for you, uh, you might want to look at maybe something else. Um, but again, you know, it's sufficient, and you can you can play games with uh, with just four colors. It, but it is a little bit more limited. Um, now I do want to talk about. Uh, one problem I have with these bicycle chips, um, that would be, actually I'm going to go ahead and remove these from here, I'll just, uh, I'll just dump them out for now. Alright, I want to talk specifically about the, uh, little display case here. Um, as you can see, this is the, um, the holder it talks about, and it does say actually on the box that this is a $4 value, so I don't know if you can buy these anywhere else, where does it say that? It says that somewhere on here. Uh, where is it? Um, it says it, I think it says it on here, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know where it says it, but it does say on here that this is like a $4 value, so if you could buy these like separately, uh, you 
probably would pay four dollars for them. Um, and by the way, I don't think the 50 pack comes with a the holder. They're, the packaging is very different. Um, maybe one day I'll buy one of those and I'll show you what that looks like. But um, you know, again, uh, but the thing I don't like about these is that this is all you get. There's no lid to put on them, so you can't like pack. So because of that, what I typically do if I want to pack these and bring them with me somewhere, I'll put them in a zi in a giant Ziploc bag and I'll suck all the air out of the bag and then zip it up. And uh, then I can uh, actually carry them, you know, in a backpack without fear of of losing any of them. I mean, you know. Um, <clears throat> so I just wish that they maybe give you, maybe they refine this a little bit so that you could have a snap on lid or, or something. But you know, unfortunately, uh, they, I guess they never thought you'd do that, or they, you know, assumed you'd uh, put it in the box. Which again brings it back to what I said at the beginning of the video. There's no like latch on here that you can use to keep it shut. Uh, so again, you know, it's just another thing, and it is kind of a cheap cardboard box. I have to admit, it feels, you know, it feels like cardboard, just cheap, run-of-the-mill cardboard. In fact, you can see right there, there's a little bit of a tear. So, you know, maybe if they would, uh, if they're not going to put a lid on here, they should at least give you a box that can hold itself shut. I mean, there's only friction, you know, that holds it together. So, you know, again, uh, maybe give you a nicer box or something. But that might again boost up your uh, the cost of the chips but I don't know I don't think it'd add too much to just give this thing a simple lid and refine the design to make it uh, you know so the lid will snap on or hold on or to it or something I think it would probably only add maybe one or two if not three dollars to the uh, total value which again would not be too too bad uh, but again just something to take note of if you're interested in bringing these with you to uh, say a tournament or something you're you're gonna have a Probably you're gonna want to make sure that you keep up with them, and uh, that you don't, you know, lose them in your bag or something. I would probably suggest if you buy. Actually, what I would do, what I'm, and actually, uh, I'm glad I thought of this. Um, when I get so many of these, if I get maybe four packs of these, um, what I may actually do is invest in maybe a, a suitcase that's meant for poker chips, and I just store them in that, so that way uh, I can carry them around and have a lot of uh, money in them. Um, and you know. That might not. That might actually be something you could do. Again, it only costs you about forty dollars for the chips uh, to get four hundred of them and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and put these back in, and we'll conclude the review. Okay. So um, you know, again, just uh, uh, you know, if you want to carry them around without uh, worry of losing them, just buy several of these and you know, invest in like a suitcase or something. Um, so uh, or maybe get a uh, sort of a case that you could uh, put them in. I'm sure. Uh, you could probably find a case for maybe Pelican or something that will be able to fit this entire setup perfectly. Um, that might be another source for you to look at Pelican's website. Um, in terms of how much uh, you know money you get in one of these, um, again, it, it, I you know I'm only basing this off of my um, off of my uh, value setting. So you get forty dollars worth of green chips. Well, actually, let's let's start from the largest and, and go down, because um, that's generally the easiest way to go. You have two hundred dollars worth of black chips, all right, and you have um, you have a hundred dollars worth of uh, uh, red chips, so that's three hundred dollars. Um, now let's see, you get ten of these, so this would be fifty, and then a hundred, so you get a hundred and fifty worth of uh, blue chips. And oh my gosh, this is very interesting how am I gonna set this down uh, well here you're gonna get uh, 150 worth of uh, blue chips so I know it there that way uh, we get 150 worth of blue chips so that's uh, four hundred and fifty dollars and then you have forty dollars worth of these uh, these green chips so that's uh, going to be four hundred and ninety dollars of uh, playing money so again you know for ten dollars that's um, not exactly you know too bad but I would probably suggest that you buy extra cases so that way you can have just a little bit more uh, money and so you can um, yeah because uh, again if you if you spend twenty dollars for this you know take forty forty nine hundred or forty four hundred and nine dollars and um, multiply it by two you're going to have actually what we have I don't know off the top of my head uh, eight hundred uh, so you'll have uh, nine hundred and eighty dollars, I believe. Uh, you can correct my math there. Just maybe if I have a calculator handy, which I don't at the moment. But um, yeah, but again, just for twenty dollars, you're gonna get you know nine hundred and eighty dollars, and then 
thirty dollars you're already going to have over a thousand uh, dollars worth of playing money and that's pretty much perfect there you'll have and, and here's the uh, the playing chart again one pack of these is not really adequate for a game it's the minimum it says you'd want you'd want to have is 275 so uh, that's something to keep in mind there um, uh, but I, actually, I, we did. I have played games with this old, with this pack, uh, with a lot of people. But someone actually brought a pack of these with them, so they, these were also used. And they didn't set any values. They just said, you know, no matter what the color is, it's going to just be set to one dollar. So um, if you want to do that, you can also do that. Um, then you don't really need to worry about the uh, particular color of the of the chip. You just play and you know use your little yeah. <clears throat> anyway, again, places where you can buy them, Rite Aid for $10 um, for the 100-pack, and they also sell the 50-pack for $5, and uh, Harris Teeter if you are interested in the 50-pack, and uh, you might be able to find them at some drug stores, maybe uh, CVS or Walgreens or someplace like that. Uh, actually, I think CVS does sometimes carry bicycle brand poker chips, I just don't see them often, or did I say CVS or Walgreens? If I said Walgreens, that's what I meant, but anyway. Anyway, that's it, guys. I'm going to go and let you guys go. Thanks for watching this review. Um, adios.